Nissan Murano was one of the first mid-sized crossovers to hit the streets back in 2003. It's been a hit, but so is the Ford Edge, Hyundai Santa Fe, and Chevy Equinox. So, does this new Murano have what it takes to make you forget about those excellent utes? Hi, I'm Joel Fetter with The Car Connection, and I'll tell you how the new 2015 Nissan Murano stacks up against the competition in our latest video road test. The first thing you're going to notice about the new Murano is its flamboyant shape. It's no box on wheels. The Murano has a sharp grille, boomerang shaped headlights and taillights, and expressive creases and curves. It's more like a concept car than a mainstream family appliance. That's less true inside. The hooded gauges bring a sporty touch and the control layout is easy to use. It has real hard buttons for all the main controls. You won't find any wood grain anywhere in the lineup and there's some really pretty trim on the options list. There's plenty of space up front and this driving position is just right. There's also plenty of headroom for taller drivers even with the available moonroof. We're on the fence about these front seats though. They're comfortable, but they can use a little more support and a little longer bottom cushion. The flip side, the back seats are among the most comfortable we've ever sat in for a crossover and a little less so in the middle seat. The back seats fold down and cargo space is more generous than it seems, despite the taper toward the roof line. With 39.6 cubic feet of storage behind the back seats, the Murano is on par with the Ford Edge and Hyundai Santa Fe Sport. Under the hood of the Nissan Murano, you'll find no surprises. The sole powertrain is Nissan's 3.5 liter V6 engine rated 260 horsepower. Power is sent through a CVT to either the front or all four wheels. EPA ratings come in at 21 miles per gallon city and 28 miles per gallon highway, no matter which model you choose. Piloting the Murano isn't a chore. The CVT is among the best in the market thanks to pronounced steps that mimic gears as you're rapidly accelerating. The Murano is still very car-like. The steering has good on-center feel to it, and the suspension makes some sacrifices in handling in the name of comfort, but they are sacrifices that are worthwhile in this segment. One thing to keep in mind is the available 20-inch wheels, which do introduce a bit more road noise into the cabin. We prefer the 18s. The new Murano hasn't been crash tested yet, but you'll find the usual array of safety features, including all the airbags you can want, stability control, and ABS. If you want features like blind spot monitors, surround view cameras, or a forward collision warning system, you have to pony up for the SL or Platinum models. The 2015 Murano starts from about $30,000 and comes standard with a power driver's seat, a rear view camera, and Bluetooth. Our Murano SV is priced at just over $35,000 and has a remote start, Nissan Connect with navigation and mobile apps, LED daytime running lights, and fog lights. Load up a Platinum model and you'll be staring at a bill of nearly $46,000. So what's the bottom line with the 2015 Nissan Murano? It has impressive ride comfort, quiet cabin, and uncommonly comfortable seating for those in back. It's the perfect vehicle for those with traveling companions. Be sure to read our full review on The Car Connection and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. I'm Joel Fetter. Thanks for watching.